right guys, today is April 5th and unfortunately it has been a sad day. Alright, so on the 5th of April 1994, Kurt Cobain was actually found dead in his home in Seattle, Washington. As you may know, Kurt Cobain was actually the lead singer and the guitarist of the rock band Nirvana. But it didn't last long. He actually died three days earlier on April 5th. So eventually it is ruled that Cobain was actually found with a shotgun across his body. It was actually visible to his gunshot wound on his head. There was actually a suicide note that Cobain had died by suicide. So eventually what I was going to say is that Cobain had did Cobain left um, rehabilitation, you know. Eventually what I was going to say is that it's really really very very scary and I know that Nirvana actually uh, has been around um, for seven years but due to the figure of that kind of thing uh, Kurt could have just like committed suicide and he apparently had uh, a habit of drinking um, alcohol and addiction to drugs. So what I was going to say is that Kurt Cobain did um, suffer suffer depression and wants to kill himself. Like it's really really scary. It's a very very scary thing. Um, I know why Kurt Cobain wants to do that is because uh, Kurt Cobain just uh, loves those kind of things. But sometimes the alcohol and drugs could have meant that Kurt Cobain would have just hurt himself. So. I've been just getting to this question, why did Kurt Cobain apparently suffer his life towards an alcohol addiction and drugs? Well, just, just throughout his life, Kurt Cobain had been diagnosed with a chronic bronchitis and actually has a stomach condition. He actually did experience a cannibalism at just, at just 13 years old. He just used the drug during adulthood. He was actually prone to an alcoholism and amounts of uh, drugs onto, onto, onto himself. So eventually what I was going to say is that uh, Corbin, Kurt Corbin did really suffer like a lot of like um, mental health issues. He does suffer like a lot of like alcoholism and drug addiction. He apparently had experienced heroin just before the band apparently started it. So it was a way to get into his habit and apparently I just feel very very sad for Kurt Cobain to live at just the young age of 27. So it was actually said that Kurt Cobain could have just um, stopped, the, stopped the drinking and stopped the drugs. But the question goes like this, why did Kurt Cobain use this kind of drug to apparently do a thing like that. Eventually what I was going to say is that what what I do believe is that Kurt Cobain um, is definitely the one being addicted to drugs. He definitely uh, had this kind of experience since he was apparently a teen. He's actually been like smuggling like uh, cannabis and heroin heroin, it was definitely like a bad experience for Kurt to have those kinds of things. So eventually what I was going to say is that uh, Kurt Cobain uh, somehow did uh, drunk himself into the ground, like really really hot into the ground. So when you do see the pictures of Kurt Cobain, he apparently does look way worse in his 30s, 40s or maybe 60s because he's been like drinking like a lot of alcohol, he's he just went for rehabilitation, but uh, sometimes this kind of thing won't work for uh, Kurt. You know, like Kurt Cobain would have just like uh, just taken his own life into uh, having a gunshot wound. You know, like having like, like that. Now, this kind of thing is also similar to Keith Moon and Les McCowan, who both of them really took the drugs when they were just teens. Both of them were really addicted to alcohol, which caused them to, which caused them to die, you know, from a young age. But, but what I was gonna say is, Les McCowan did not die from a young age. He died at just 65 years old from a heart attack 
which is triggered by drugs and alcohol. While Keith Moon and Kurt Colvin, on the other hand, did die at just a very young age, at 32 years old and 27. Like, like what I'm saying, like, I mean, why would just the three of them really take the drugs? Like, why? Are they just like really seriously addicted to drugs? I would just say they're very, very addicted to drugs. Uh, Keith, on the other hand, did take um, drugs during the Who's early days in the 1960s. He apparently did take the drugs and I do remember what happened to Keith. Keith, like, uh, was drinking very, very hard. Uh, he got very drunk and knocked out two of his teeth. It just started with a food battle and apparently the Who were uh, charged like a lot of those money. Now, there's also another, another musician who also got addicted to drugs and alcohol. Now, I'm so sorry guys if this is going to really scare you. I know I'm not, I know I'm not going to show the video. I'm not really going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so, eventually it's similar to Brian Jones. Brian Jones also suffered from alcohol and drug addiction. Now, Brian Jones also got arrested for these kinds of drug and alcohol possessions. You've been wondering why. The police were actually watching Brian Jones. Because of his alcohol and uh, drug tolerance, it would probably mean that um, those four boys could have been addicted to drugs. So what I was going to say is that Brian Jones and Kurt Cobain did suffer their life until the age of 27. While Chief Moon, on the other hand, did suffer his life until the age of 32, which is definitely bad. You know what I even mean? Like, people would just do like a dangerous habit and just get arrested, you know? Another thing is, uh, did Kurt Coleman really get arrested? I, I think we can find the answer. We can find the answer on Google. Um, okay, so Kurt Coleman was actually arrested. He spent the night in jail. To tell that it was actually uh, awful, he also got arrested for spraying graffiti across the home in hometown of Ivory, Washington and spent the night night in jail. Now this is similar to Keith Moon, but Keith Moon never experienced this. Instead, Keith Moon, got, Keith Moon and the Who apparently got sent to jail for the whole night for letting the, letting the drummer get drunk during his birthday. I would just say it's like definitely like that really really bad. There's also another thing I wanted to say. So Brian Jones was arrested for for doing these kind of things, such as drug drug charges. He was arrested and he had a possession of marijuana. He was just sentenced to the uh drug drug related thing. He was actually arrested for drug possession on May 10th, 1967. I mean it was like uh, definitely very very sad uh, for Brian Jones to have this kind of addiction. So eventually you've been wondering why did these four boys have those addiction these kinds of days in the band? So Kurt Colbin from Nirvana actually did suffer addiction when he was a teen. He suffered an alcohol and drug addiction as a teen. Uh, Brian Jones suffered the same thing as well back when uh, the Rolling Stones were actually going to start their early days. Keith Moon, same thing. He apparently did take like appetites and alcohol during the Who's early days. And apparently, I do remember, he was the one just getting drunk. Uh, Keith just, um, just tries to control himself. It is a very, very dangerous habit for people to drink alcohol, especially if their blood is very high. I'll just say that alcohol isn't like the correct choice for people who want to suffer their life through this kind of behavior. Now, what I was going to say is that Keith Moo just uh, drunk himself right into the ground. He apparently just say like, uh, if he wants like, want to drink like alcohol, it's like he's like totally fine with it. He just wants to drink it, you know. Uh, then actually we have Les McCowan. Les McCowan also suffered from the same thing. He suffered a very very bad alcohol addiction. He also had a possession of drunk driving just in case he wanted to like um just kill a woman in Edinburgh. Fortunately for that, 
Les apparently did take the rehabilitation thing. And you've been wondering, how, how many like singers really did do all this? Well, a lot of them, you know, a lot of them. They would just say like, um, oh, I just want to like, um, do something like that. I want to, um, I want to do this just because of that. No, it's never going to work that way. It isn't going to work that way for an alcohol, um, an alcoholic person. Because of this, I'll just say that this is like, the kind of thing that happens a lot to people, especially when people do get do get uh, drunk. They probably just say like, "Oh, they want they want people to be drunk," you know. Now, I don't actually like, kind of believe in these things, but I've noticed from my experience from that, I've been reading about um these these um, musicians, uh, Brian Jones, uh. Keith Moon, Kurt Cobain, and Les McCowan. I know their lives hasn't been cut short, except for Les McCowan, because Les McCowan did live until 65, while uh, Kurt, Keith, and Brian lived their lives from 27 to 32. You know what I even mean? Like, people just do a thing like that. They probably just say, like, oh, they want to just get, um, get over with. They just want to, like, do the things they want to do. If they seriously can do like another alcohol like addiction and abuse, it wouldn't be okay for them. It, it wouldn't be okay to like force someone to like stop the habit, you know, like like that. It could have been that uh, Keith, Kurt, and Brian would have just uh, stopped the addiction and go for rehabilitation, you know, like rehabilitation. It can really help someone in order to stop the addiction for alcohol abuse. So eventually what I was going to say is that uh, this kind of behavior, what um, these three boys did, it's a very, very bad habit. It's somehow um, not okay for a person to do it. If you think the person is going to have this kind of behavior, it's like never going to work for them. You just have to just say like, um, just stop already. If they don't stop, you can just um, try to like fire them and kick them out. But unlike Keith Moon, on the other hand, John and Twistle and Roger Daltrey threatened to fire Keith. But this could, this thing can make his life worse. They had put the band back. They had to put the band back where Keith Moon was the one, the king of destruction. However, Pete Townsend says if firing Keith Moon would have been worse for him, then he would probably go into another meltdown. But Pete Townsend also warned Keith that there will not be any tours unless he stops drinking. This is like getting very bad to see like three boys just like three musicians who are boys just having this kind of addiction. You know who also had the addiction as well? Janis Joplin. Janis Joplin did, however, just do something a very like a bad thing. Like she she got arrested for um doing something like this uh Uh, vulgar language and obscene abuse, but she was also um, arrested for like the drug possession, I think. So apparently, Gianna did somehow die of an accidental heroin overdose. So eventually, uh, what I was gonna say is that it was really sad for those kinds of singers to like seriously die at just a very young age. They would prob it would probably mean that people would just have to go to rehabilitation and they just try and figure this thing out, you know? You know what I, like I mean? Alright, I think that's all for now and I want to apologize to Michael, I want to apologize to everyone. Alright, I'm so sorry for this video, if this is going to scare you, alright, it's, I don't know, I don't know about it, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's, go maybe it's like very, very scary. I don't know. But anyways, I think that's all for now. And I'm so sorry for about this. And I want to say I'm sorry, Michael, for making this video. I know, I know I didn't steal it. But um, this kind of thing is a very, very scary thought, okay? Just please be warned, guys. What I really did say, I'm not going to show the picture, okay? I'm just going to tell it in my own words. But it will not give me anything, okay? But anyways, I think that's all for now. And this is me, signing off.